So if we're focusing on a horizontal press, sternal pec, now we're thinking, again, straight out. So Austin, for his active range here, is going to get that abductive position, and he's going to retract his shoulder blade. That's where the handle needs to be. If we're pressing now horizontally, it needs to be in this plane. So for this particular exercise, we're simulating a flat press. So if Austin steps back, very similar cues to a flat press. We're thinking about driving towards the mid pec now, so insertion to origin. So he goes ahead and presses through. When we get to the top, it's not about pushing these handles in, it's about squeezing upper arm in. So you shouldn't necessarily be doing like a massive contraction. You shouldn't feel it in your biceps pushing in here. But if you do want to have a little bit more internal intent, you can think about pulling this together and pulling the bicep in towards the center of your chest. Never driving forward into protraction, only squeezing in. So you see Austin has a different setup here, and that's because now we're focusing on the costal pec, so that outer lower portion of the pec that is going to push more at a decline angle. So here in a horizontal press, we can still take advantage of the back pad, but what we're going to do is we're going to scoot that butt forward on the seat, and he's actually pushing into this. So he's like using his feet to drive himself into here, so he actually gets stability from the bench. The bench is going to add to his scapular and shoulder stability here. From here, now he is going to actually focus more on driving forward, less on driving in, because these costal pecs run at this angle. They don't run across. So here he's more actually going to be pushing into the handles and just in slightly rather than focusing on across. He's still going to drive the elbows out on the way back, but the forward motion is intent more is that pressing forward. You tend to be very strong in this position in the fully lengthened. So he comes back here. He has a really good mechanical advantage to bring that forward. So loading this in the lengthened position, if you have the smart cam, that would be setting it up on the three. Or if you wanted to load it just a little bit easier on the fully stretched position, but still load the lengthened, you could set it one off on the five. 